back to Cooking with Sarah. Today is a special day here at the restaurant, which is still as yet unnamed. Um, we are setting up for Valentine's Day. Let me go ahead and get back into first person, get my hot bar back. For all the couples that will be coming to have dinner with us on Valentine's Day, we've got a couple of special foods here that we're going to be preparing. The main course we're going to be serving is going to be a ginger chicken. There is also a garlic chicken in uh, Harvest Craft. I would not recommend it for um, Valentine's Day for reasons which I should not have to explain. But to make ginger chicken, you, actually, uh, you can actually make a vegan version with tofu. Apparently firm tofu can substitute for pretty much any meat and also eggs, but anyway. You will take your chicken or your tofiken or to tofurken or whatever you want to call it. To that, you will add some nice grated ginger, fresh ginger. Now, there's a couple of new things here that were not in the previous version of Magic Farm. You have scallions, that's a new vegetable, and also honey drops. You can use your forestry honey drops for this as well. But there are now also um, Pam's Harvest Craft now has beehives of its own, which you can go and break open and get bees and honey and stuff out of. You put all that together and saute your chicken and or tofu churfurkin in your saucepan, and that will give you a delicious, spicy, but not too spicy, chicken dinner. Now, of course, you don't think of chicken when you think of Valentine's Day. Oh, no, no, no. You think of chocolate and possibly strawberry as well. We have plenty of that. So, our main course, we're actually going to start off with a strawberry salad to go with our ginger chicken. You start off with just a plain fruit salad, and that is pretty much any two fruits. I've used cherries and bananas here. With a cutting board, put it in a mixing bowl, mix it up. You get that fruit salad, and then you want to add some uh, extra strawberries to it. And I'm going to have to um, get that. There we go. Make some room in the work table here. Just fruit salad. Throw a couple strawberries in. And there you go. So that's a nice uh, romantic starter to your meal. Moving on. Uh, we've Of course, we've covered the main course already. So let's just go right to the nitty gritty, to the desserts. Of course, we're going to go with chocolate first. And I'll show you another way to make chocolate here in just a bit. It is not interchangeable with this chocolate, unfortunately. The Harvest Craft Chocolate Bar is a saucepan, put it over low heat, mix up cocoa powder, milk, and butter. Uh, for, fresh, for the milk, you can also use soy milk. For the butter, you can use uh, soft tofu, which is the once-pressed stage of tofu. Now, you can further spice that up, quite literally, by grinding it up in a mortar and pestle with a chili pepper that will give you a lovely little kicky chili chocolate there. Or you can melt that chocolate in a saucepan and dip cherries in it, or you can dip strawberries in it. And finally, if you want to get a little fancier, you can make a cheesecake. You take your bakeware, flour. You can also use agriculture flour. That's another thing. Some of the agriculture ingredients are now interchangeable with Pam's Harvest Craft ingredients, but not all of them. And I'll show you in just a minute. Take your flour, stir in some heavy cream or soft tofu, some sugar, one egg or firm tofu. You get a plain cheesecake. Now you can perk that up even a little bit more. I want to grab some cherries here, and we'll do it on this table here. Put that cheesecake in there, and add some cherry topping, and that will be just lovely. Now what to drink with all this? We can have, actually, a lovely selection of sodas here in Magic Farm 2. Let's go ahead and just go with the strawberry soda for now. And what I'm going to do first, you need the uh, seltzer water, the sparkling water base, so you take your presser. Once again, the presser requires no power. You just put your stuff in. And we'll just put a fresh water in and watch it percolate there. And it will pressurize that and give you a bubbly water. You then take that bubbly water 
and put it in a pot with some strawberry juice, which again you get with a strawberry and a juicer, or, or by chucking strawberries into the presser, and some sugar, and that will give you a bottle of strawberry soda. You can do that with pretty much any fruit, any fruit juice. It will give you a delicious soda. There's also colas and root beers and things in there too. So there's that, if you want those options for your beverages. Now, there is an easier way to make chocolate. That's the good news. Agriculture has a recipe. It's one cup of milk, unprocessed cocoa beans, sugar. You go to your counter. I've already got some there. Put the cup of milk there, and just put in your cocoa beans and sugar. It turns into chocolate. And you can use this to make chocolate dipped strawberries as well. Unfortunately, um, you do have to use the agriculture strawberry. The Harvest Craft strawberry will not work. You can also make chocolate chip cookie dough, um, chocolate ice cream mix, any number of things. If you then take that chocolate and put it in the oven, that's not the oven. That's the oven. You take that chocolate bar, put it in the oven. I've got to steal some uh, coal here. And once it comes up to temperature, that will give you a chocolate sauce. So we'll just uh, let that cook for a few minutes. Oh, that's the wrong chocolate. Heh. Let's try that chocolate. And melty, 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 melty. Maybe. There it goes. And you can combine that with ice cream. And possibly with other stuff, too. Let's just see. No, it's not going to tell me. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can combine it with ice cream of any flavor. Or <laughs> you can burn it. You don't want to do that, trust me. But that's about all you can do with it. Put it on ice cream. Too bad. There's other things that would be awesome for it, but that's okay. I guess I was uh, just checking down here. Wine is, of course, still a thing with thanks to Gro Growth Craft, and I'm believe the process is still the same as it was in Magic Farm 1 that I showed you way back when. So there is that if you would like a, an adult beverage with your romantic dinner. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have a seat here at Optimus and Jugsy's table here. So, and that is it for our special Valentine's Day meals. Let me just, uh, there we go, I've got my bowl of strawberry salad in my hand. Now, what do you do? if you're alone on Valentine's Day? I'll tell you what you do. You go to that fancy restaurant. You order yourself the fanciest meal that you can afford. You get yourself the chocolate-covered strawberries. You go out to see a movie. That There's no reason why you have to sit at home alone. Trust me. Just go out, have fun, enjoy yourself. And if that fails, just remember chocolate is always going to be half price the next day. So from all of us here at Cooking with Sarah, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for watching. Bon appetit, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.